With temperatures in the 70s, right now is prime hiking season for people out here at Camelback Mountain. Typically, heat warnings do not go into effect until April, but that doesn't mean the dangers do not exist. Health officials have already reported three rattlesnake bites in the valley this year. Spring training is in full swing here in the valley, but the economic impact goes far beyond the ballparks to resorts like this one. The Cactus League president says we're talking $650 million brought in by tourists alone. iPads, laptops are your typical technologies being used by students in the classroom nowadays. But with the Momo challenge, hear how Valley schools are keeping their students safe online inside the classroom. High schools around Arizona have seen a significant decrease to funding and sports programs. This is why coaches around the Phoenix area are worried for their student athletes and how they will be affected both on and off the field. The leptospirosis outbreak affected the valley nearly two years ago, but with temperatures slowly rising across Arizona, hear how park rangers are taking extra precautions to keep your pets safe at valley parks like this one. Road closures, detours, and of course traffic are normal sites on the construction zone for the South Mountain Freeway. ADOT has announced their plans to finish the highway three years early and which will save Arizona taxpayers $100 million. Rail expansion down to Central and Baseline has been a hot topic of discussion for the past couple of years. Developers now want to hear from people living within South Phoenix to see how they could better help their community. <laughs> Amanda Reese lives and runs her small business in South Phoenix and says she's tired of seeing her community forgotten. I find that oftentimes people don't even come down Central, they go to Levine or they go to Ahwatukee, they go to different areas for the same stuff that we can offer the community here. Which is why Reese and about a dozen other vendors decided to do something about it. Thus, La Luna Markets was born. During Small Business Saturday over the weekend, Asukad Coffee Shop hosted the event, a first of its kind for South Phoenix. It is about building community. It's not just a piece of jewelry. It's getting to know the person. Reese says local vendors hope the market will bring new business to the area and also help build a sense of pride and recognition for the neighborhood. They are planning on having more additions through the holiday season. The response from the community is huge and it's because we've been neglected. And so it's looking around saying, what can we do for ourselves with each other? We've just had so much community support and so many people that are so excited that there's things going on like this in their backyard. Brown adds that by shopping local, buyers are supporting so much more than just the vendors. Helping pay for kids dance lessons or soccer practice. It's not going to help sh support shareholders. It's going right back into the community in this neighborhood. In Phoenix, Alex Valdez, Cronkite News.